Greetings, this is Tadla Malaku. I'm back again uh, to make some comments regarding the situation in Ethiopia. I'm going to raise a few points uh, and make uh, a few comments about the Maikadra massacre, uh, about uh, the refugees uh, in Sudan, and about the Amhara genocide that continues uh, in Ben Shangul uh, and in Oromia as well. So uh, this video is um, for the international community because there's a lot of uh, information out there that's uh, that I personally find to be unreliable. I make uh, take great amount of caution uh, to take a stand on any um, uh, political uh, opinion, and this um, is a nonpartisan analysis of what's going on. I don't have any allegiance to any political party, whether uh, it's in Ethiopia or elsewhere. To begin, the Maikadra massacre. So, as um, especially everyone who's aware of the current situation in Ethiopia has heard about the Maikadra massacre. Um, 600 uh, civilians uh, of uh, Amhara uh, origin or whose ethnicity is Amhara have been massacred by uh, a Tigrayan uh, TPLF youth uh, organization called Samri. This has been now reported on the Washington Post. Um, it's also um, reported by Ethiopia's Rights Commission. Now, before we talk about what happened there, we have to understand that um, literally in the past couple of days and in the past week, a lot of false information has been circulating on social media, especially on Twitter, um, that claimed that the massacre was committed by the Amharas, which is absolutely false. The massacre was committed on Amharas, not by Amharas. It was committed on Amhara civilians by a group called Samri. They're a TPLF, Tigrayan Liberation Front, a People's Liberation Front uh, uh, force. They're uh, forces loyal to TPLF. And this uh, had originally been uh, reported and stated by Amnesty International. Uh, Amnesty International had uh, put out a report that said that scores, hundreds of civilians had been massacred in Maikadra. And these civilians had been uh, massacred according to Amnesty uh, or Amnesty International's sources by the hands of forces loyal to TPLF. It was true. That report and that statement by Amnesty International is true. Uh, but then we saw uh, journalists whose agenda is incomprehensible uh, disseminating false information on Twitter uh, saying that Amhara militia, uh, militias were the one uh, who had committed the crime on Tigrayans. It's, tr it's not true. It's false. So now we have a report by Ethiopia's Rights Commission, and it's been, again, uh, just very recently, probably today, um, I believe, yes, uh, well, November 24th at 4 p.m. by the Washington Post saying that it was 600, uh, 600 Amhara civilians in Walkait, in Maikadra, who had been massacred by Samri. Samri are, uh, as I said, um, a TPLF group uh, of uh, young men, uh, m most probably, who carried out the atrocity uh, and committed the crime or the massacre. <clears throat> now, this is what the Washington Post is saying. The title uh, of the article says 
600 civilians were killed in massacre in Tigray, Ethiopia's Rights Commission says. Well, here, here's the tricky part. Because it says it's in Tigray, because the TPLFI uh, uh, force had uh, controlled the region for so long, this historically Amhara land, and this is for a different debate, historically uh, Amhara land has been or had been in, under the control of TPLF and had been annexed uh, into the Tigrayan region for a while. And because of that, when they say the massacre was committed in Tigray, people are understanding that as saying that the massacre was committed on Tigrayans, but that's not true. The massacre was committed in that region on Amharas. It was committed on Amharas by Samri, and Samri are a TPLF Tigrayan group. That's very important to understand. And then it says hundreds of people, and this is directly, uh, I'm reading this uh, out of uh, the Washington Post article. Um, it says hundreds of people in a town in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region were stopped, strangled, and hacked to death in an apparent ethnically based attack that may amount to crimes against humanity and war crimes. Ethiopia's human rights watchdog says, uh, said Tuesday. The commission said at least 600 people were killed in the town of Maikadra in western Tigray on November 9, when local youths, known as Samri, aided by the then local administration, went door to door killing those they identified as from the Amhara and Wolkite ethnic group. So it was committed on the, uh, the crime was commit committed on ethnic Amharas by the Samri TPLF. This needs to be underlined, and this needs to be um, told. And the false information needs to be exposed, because these uh, loose cannons of uh, uh, journalists um, from different um, uh, media outlets are propagating false information, saying that the opposite is what's, what happened. They're saying that the, the Amhara militias committed this onto grains. It's not, it's not true, as I said. As I read uh, the, the article to you, it says that those who were, uh, the culprits are the Samri, the Tigrayan TPLF force. And those who were targeted and massacred, the genocide was committed on the Amhara civilians. So it's an Amhara genocide. It's not a Tigrayan genocide. That's one. Well, here it says minority Amharas, but the Amharas are not minorities. It, it's saying that because the Amharas in that region in that specific area uh, are uh, a minority compared to the rest of the people. But in reality, the Amhara constitute more than one third of the nation's population. This is important to note. It says the killings took place throughout the night of November 9, as security forces of the region's ruling Tigray People's Liberation Front or TPLF were retreating from the advance of federal government troops, the commission said. So it's confirming what Amnesty International had already said uh, in the beginning. Amnesty International had said that they committed this crime, this T Tigrayan uh, TPLF uh, force or forces loyal to TPLF carried out the massacre on Amhara civilians in Maikadra after uh, uh, following defeat because the federal government troops had advanced, they were retreating. So what they did is they went door to door and they hacked, they literally massacred all the non tigrayan Amhara civilians who were there. So 600 civilians, 600 plus civilians of Amhara origin were massacred by the Samri. Okay. Now let's um, look at the refugee situation. 30,000 to 40,000 uh, uh, people have um, been displaced, uh, were displaced and have entered uh, the Sudan out of Tigray. Now this information is true, but here's the thing. Some refugees were being interviewed by some uh, journalists 
who are um, stating, uh, who are making statements that are unreliable. And this is also getting to different uh, media outlets. For example, the Sydney Morning Herald um, had stated that some person that they interviewed who claimed to be a refugee uh, that came from Tigray had said that all the Amhara militia uh, are the ones responsible for the massacre. I saw it with my own eyes. They chopped off the heads of children and so on and so forth. Completely unreliable regarding the sources that we have. Now, they just they interviewed one person whose background they were they could not be certain of. And this person can even be a member of Samri. This person can, can be a member of uh, the uh, forces who were loyal to TPLF who actually committed the massacre. And yet they interviewed this person. And then they put out his comments uh, accusing the Amhara militias of committing the massacre. Mind you, put it on the uh, morning news uh, um, called uh, uh, Sydney uh, Morning Herald. So this is, this is what I call uh, being uh, complete loose cannons. This is extremely damaging. These are not reports that are reliable whatsoever. These are not reliable sources, but then they're putting out such um, false, uh, unreliable information and uh, creating um, um, chaos on social media. So these refugees, some of them have been reported to be young men. Now, most of the time, refugees in such a situation when there's war between the government forces and the regional uh, rebel forces of the TPLF or any other, or at anywhere in the world, refugees most of the time are women and children and those who um, are evading. Uh, the the place where the war is happening. Now, what's important to understand here is that there's an unusual amount of young men or number of young men who crossed the uh, border uh, into Sudan and who are uh, being treated as refugees there and then being interviewed and saying that the Amharas committed the massacre. Now, that should be extremely suspicious. Now, this is what needs to be, uh, um, uh, what needs to be investigated because these could likely be members of Samri. Uh, could, they could also be people who committed massacre and who uh, crossed the border and now are uh, acting as refugees in Sudan, may have committed... Uh, the massacre themselves and then are uh, propagating false information to uh, blame uh, their own deeds on the Amhara militias. This has not been uh, investigated at all. They need to be interrogated, needs to be investigated. Uh, and these journalists need to uh, take heed and understand that uh, by propagating this false information, saying that the Amhara uh, malicious com committed the crime, what they're doing is they're propagating false information based on unreliable sources and probably even based on sources that uh, commit the, committed the massacre themselves. So this is how, uh, uh, how uh, dangerous uh, this is. Now, regarding the Amhara genocide uh, in general, it's been going on for a while and this is not a new occurrence. 600 Amharas massacred in, uh, in Maikadra just a few weeks ago, uh, on November 9. Just a few days ago, prior to that date, there was a massacre of Amharas, more than 200 Amharas, who were massacred in Walaga and Oromia. Right now, as we speak, different parts of uh, Oromia are under threat by the OLF, the Oromo Liberation Front. The OLF is threatening to massacre Amharas in, those, in different areas in Oromia. And Amhara civilians are crying out to media outlets, local, uh, well, Ethiopian media outlets, saying, do something, come for us, protect us, because the government is not doing anything about it. 
Just a few days ago from today's date, there was a massacre of Amharas in Matekel in Ben Shangu, which is also another region, um, different from Oromia. Oromia is a region, Tigray is a region, Amhara is a region, and then you have Ben Shangu, which is also a region. But Amharas live throughout the nation, um, uh, all over the place, because historically Amharas have, have uh, contributed uh, greatly to the formation of the state. And because of that, the children of the uh, founding fathers live everywhere in, in the nation. This is also what TPLF had tried to do by separating, uh, the, cutting the nation into different uh, ethnic regions, was to minimize the influence of the Amharas and to literally quarantine them in a small region and then treat the Amharas who are outside of that small region as minorities, as is being uh, reported now, unfortunately. That's what's happening. So um, the Amharas who are living in these different uh, non-Amhara ethnic regions are targets. They're constant targets by these rebel uh, terrorist organizations like the OLF and, and the TPLF, which now is uh, at the, uh, uh, on the brink of uh, eradication which should be completely supported. And this is also what's mind boggling. A lot of these journalists and uh, personages of preeminence do not understand that this group called TPLF, um, they're a terrorist organization. That's what they don't understand. They were funding these massacres all over the nation. They're, they, they had been funding the genocide of uh, the Amhara people. Uh, they literally made Ethiopia ungovernable. And they also uh, were in power for 28 years. And during that time, uh, they were able to amass something like 40 plus billion dollars. Little of it was invested uh, on Ethiopia and for Ethiopians on development. It was actually, uh, <laughs> there's actually been an economic invasion by powers like China and Ethiopia. And Ethiopia is in debt. Uh, it, it, debt that is literally impossible to pay back so and and the, i'm not like i said i don't have any allegiance to any political party and uh, i'm not uh, i'm not necessarily a supporter of the current administration because it's also doing the same thing but right now what's happening is that uh, tplf is um, um, it's it's the end for tplf and this needs to be supported because this terrorist organization needs to be brought to justice. The criminals who are uh, officials of uh, TPLF need to be um, stopped. So the Amhara genocide has been happening for, for a long time without uh, any, um, without, without any solution, without, um, uh, like, for example, right now, media outlets are paying a lot of attention to the potential uh, civil war and, uh, and uh, uh, genocide that could uh, occur in Ethiopia and also are focusing on, on the humanitarian crisis and what's, ha what's going on in Sudan regarding the refugees and everything. That's good. Helping refugees, the humanitarian <laughs> work is excellent, it's good. But all these journalists and media outlets have not been doing or saying anything about the Amhara ethnic cleansing, genocide and massacres that had been happening uh, for a long time. They've never done anything about it. They've never said anything about it as journalists, as uh, humanitarians, as just uh, them doing their job. They haven't said anything. Very little has been said. Um, and much of what's been said is very recent. It's in the past uh, two years that little, too little has been said. So now there's, this needs to be understood. There's no Tigrayan genocide. No one is committing genocide on Tigrayans. It's false. No one is targeting Tigrayan civilians. It's not happening. It's not true. But Amharas have been being targeted and are still targeted and being genocided or murdered and massacred in these regions that I uh, mentioned, the uh, 
aforementioned regions such as Oromia, Ben Shango, and uh, now Tigray. Because Amharas live in these areas too. Just because the massacre happened in quote unquote the Tigray region, it doesn't mean that Tigrayans are the ones who are massacred. It was Samri, a Tigrayan TPLF group, that uh, premeditated uh, this attack and actually carried it out on Amhara civilians on November 9. So this is this is all I'm going to say for right now, and this uh, is very important information for those who want to understand what's going on. I thank you for this, for listening to me, and uh, please uh, share this on Twitter, on Facebook, and tag as many uh, uh, important media outlets and uh, um, important uh, politicians or uh, other uh, individuals of uh, preeminence to understand what's happening and to get reliable information. Thank you and have a good day.